This is why narcissists still spy on you. You may have think that you've gotten away from them. You may think that you've finally moved on. But narcissists are always watching. They're always engaged in careful observation. Even though you may not have heard from them for a while. Even though they may have ghosted you. That doesn't mean they've completely forgotten about you. Their obsessive nature does not allow them to move on. Because just the thought of you preoccupies and fills their mind to a troubling extent. They're constantly thinking about you. They always feel like they could be missing out on something. By not being constantly engaged with you. Even though it may not be directly. Because they actually get more of a kick out of watching you from behind the scenes. That's more satisfying for them. Face to face interaction doesn't stimulate them as much. Because they lack empathy. So they have an inability to connect to you on a deeper level. But watching you is very addictive for them. And it becomes a habit where they can't stop themselves from doing it. And believe it or not, but they don't feel like they're missing out on anything more from you. They're not desiring a face-to-face -face interaction with you. Because that doesn't do anything for them anyway. Because they have an inability to connect. So they're actually quite satisfied with the way things are. They enjoy watching you from behind the scenes. That's all they need. And they will continue to do that. Even after you've moved on. Because they know the damage they've left behind. So they're looking to see the consequences or after effects of a significant or unpleasant event. Because they understand that their criminal behavior leaves effects. So they want to come back to see how much it has affected you. They want to see if you're still experiencing sadness or distress. They want to see if you're satisfied. Or if you manage to find someone else. They want to see if you're doing okay without them. If you've managed to regain your self-control and composure. If you've recovered control of your emotions. If you're able to behave normally again after being angry or upset. They want to know because they're very dangerous and threatening people. They're sadistic. They find pleasure and satisfaction in other people's pain, suffering and misfortune. But what they don't want to see is you doing good. You being happy. Because that would affect their thoughts and beliefs about themselves. They want to believe that there's something better. They want to think that the grass is greener on the other side. Which is why you will see them entertaining other sources of supply. Because they're constantly comparing you to other people. They have a black and white mentality so they need to have a contrast of good and bad. There can't be anything that's in between. And this new person needs to be seen as all good. While you need to be seen as all bad. Because they need this mindset to function. The illusion would fall apart without it. And once they've found this new person. They have to be seen as perfect. While you have to be seen as garbage. Because in their minds. You couldn't fulfill them. But in order for them to sustain this false reality. They need to constantly see that you're not who they thought you were. Which is why they will spy on you. Because after they've made that decision to destroy you and get rid of you. They can't be having second thoughts. They can't be thinking that they made the wrong decision. They can't have a change of opinion or resolve. Which means that they can't have you being in a situation where you're doing good. Where you're not longing or yearning for them. 
They will move on with this new person and they will try to turn them into you. They will project and assign everything that was good about you onto this new source. Which will result in them stealing a lot of your qualities and traits. And even your money or physical possessions. Because all of these things carry a certain energy with them. And then they will try to impose them onto the new source. Because they want the new source to be you. And when they check in on you it will anger and irritate them. Because you weren't supposed to be doing good without them. So they will become envious. And they will see it as a competition. Where they have to outwit and deceive you. In order to fulfill the result that they want. While they're trying to turn the new source into everything that you were. Even though they just discarded you. After they insulted you and put you down. And they said all of these things about you. And then they moved on to another situation. But they're still watching you. Because they have to see you doing bad. In order for them to feel satisfied with their decision. They have to see that you are completely destroyed. They can't see you doing good without them. And they will attack you and call you names. Because they want you to get it caught up in that. They want you to think that there was something wrong with you. You made a mistake. You did something wrong. Because then you won't see them as a threat. You'll buy into the illusion. You'll trust to confide in them. But instead of listening to what they're saying about you. You need to find your own confidence and validation within yourself. Because if you're still entertaining the things that they said and did to you. They're just going to gain satisfaction at your expense. They will be checking in to see the after effects of the words or actions because that's exactly what they want to see. They want to see you stuck in a hopeless situation where you're constantly deteriorating, where you're becoming progressively worse. Because then when they finally come back they have an advantage over you. If you haven't succeeded in dealing with these problems and difficulties that they created for you because that means you still haven't moved on. Which is what they want. They want you to remain stuck in the past. Because they haven't moved on. They're still stuck in a trauma bond over you. And it's eating away at them. So the last thing they want is to see you leaving them behind. They'd rather be the ones who get to do that to you. But they can't because they don't know how to let go. So it may always feel like you're stuck in a situation where they're winning. Because they know how to get to you. They're predators, so they know when you're vulnerable. They sense it. And that is when they will come back to validate your own emotions. To feed into a reality that you may be trying to move past or deny. Because that's really what they want. They want you to feel like you're not doing well without them. As though you can't depend on yourself. Because then that confirms their narrative that you're bad. That you're not any good. And then you'll be quick to accept or want them. But even if you do that. You're just going to be re-entering the cycle of abuse. Which is what they want. They just want the cycle to continue. They don't want it to end. Because anything outside of it does not serve them. It's not going to benefit them in any way. They're spying on you because they want to see something. If they didn't want to see, they wouldn't be spying on you. And they're spying on you because they want to see the effects of their ill treatment. They want to see you going through something. Because when you're weak, that tells them that they still have a chance. It tells them that they may be of use to you. It gives them the advantage which is why they're constantly spying on you. Because it tells them where you are in the mind. Even while you're trying to move on. Because they're just trying to pull you back in. 
That's the only way they're going to have any advantage over you. Is if they can bring you back to where you were before. To where you had no optimism or hope. To where you were in desperate need of something from them. Because without that they're not going to get any supply. Which is why they need you to do what they want you to do. Because that places them in a position of power. It's why they need you to make foolish mistakes and act the way they want you to act. Because they're always looking to prey on your weaknesses. To capitalize on your mistakes. Because that's the only way they're ever going to gain an advantage. They're not going to do that by playing fair. There always has to be some strict or trick or scheme. But that can only work if you're weak. So they have to try to weaken you first. Because otherwise they're not going to be able to affect you. But you shouldn't outwardly display your intelligence or strength. Because that's going to make you a target. It's just going to make them want to destroy you even more. Because they're weak so they're going to see that as a threat. Instead what you need to do is you need to lay low. You need to keep out of sight. You need to avoid detection or attention. You need to conceal yourself. You can't let them know that you are winning. Because they're very envious and competitive. So they're just going to try to bring you down. Because the last thing they want to see is you feeling positive. They want to see you suffering. But that doesn't mean you have to change your way of life. You can still do the things that you were doing before. You just need to be aware that they are looking. And that anything positive you're doing will have an effect on them. So let them think that they got to you. Let them think that they've got you down. It doesn't have to become your reality. But if they're so hell bent on thinking in that way, let them have it. Let them continue with their delusions and then just maybe they will spare you. They may just refrain from harming or destroying you. Because then they're already getting the satisfaction they're looking for. So there may not be any reason for them to do anything else to you. Because you're already giving them what they want to see. If several years have gone by and you haven't recovered and you haven't tried to develop anything else. Because they want to defeat you. They want to conquer you. They want to get the better of you, control and master you. So let them think that they've done that. Let them think that you're unable to live the life that you want to live. Let them think that they've stripped you of your God-given free will. Because that's what they want. They want you to lose the decision to choose what you want to choose. They want you to lose the decision to live how you want to live. By keeping you in a state of sadness and distress. And making you experience constant pain. Because that is the ultimate threat to their control over you. The fact that God has given you free will. God has given you the ability to make choices and decisions for yourself. So by default, they have to be in direct opposition with God. Because otherwise they would have to let you go. They would have to let you move on. But they can't because they don't want to see you live in a healthy and productive life. They get off on holding you back. On keeping you from achieving your goals and dreams. And if they can see that after they just knocked you down. You're starting to get back on your feet. It triggers this predatory response. This animal instinct inside of them. Where they just have to take you down. Because that's the only way that they can feel comfortable. You're like a lion. You're a serious threat to their false reality and how they see themselves. So you need to lay low. 
you need to look like you're already down and out. You're already dead. Because that's the only way that they're ever going to leave you alone. But even then, they may still come back just to poke at you with a stick. Just to make sure it's really over for you. You've just got to stay down. Don't even respond. Or if you respond, don't make it seem like anything is going well for you. Because that will trigger a response. And it's not going to mean well for you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.